Okay, so the thing that I don't like about this is that when you use a player in a swap deal, they see the full value. When you sell a player, you don't get the full value. You get about 80% of the value, or 85% of the value of the player. So I've only got 18 million. So I hear, I'm thinking 27 million is my maximum for Gerard Piquet. Because in theory, 9 million plus Matteo Musashio, which I've got 18 million for, well, 27 million, and that's his that bang on value. So if I go ahead and offer 25 million and see what they say to that, then we should get an idea of whether Barcelona are going to do a reasonable offer, or whether really the Matthew Musashio offer that I did recently was a very good one, or whether really Matthew Musashio was just sold for a much lower price than what I would have liked him to be sold for. Right, final scout report on Oscar De Marcos. Now, who is this guy? He's a right back who was interested in, but then he's always my main target. Again, I would like a Spanish core on the side, uh, which could start happening, you know, uh, with Bohan accepting an offer. That is nice to see. Um, four years, because he's only 24, which means he's very young. So Stoke have accepted. Hopefully we can get Bojan into the club. Let's get rid of that. And transfer for an unacceptable for Carver Hall. Now that means 10.5 million. Uh, this means that they're asking for just slightly less than Danilo by 0.5 million. But Carver Hall's only 79 rated. So maybe that's a bit of a weird one. Again, you guys, they're pretty much determined to get that 8.5 million squeezed out of us. They're not going to accept any less. Is that a very good deal? Not really sure. Rasmus Elm looks like the best deal at the moment, but I would have really liked Camacho. Oh, and by the way, as well, I, I made the decision not to go ahead and, um, uh, what am I, them out? What am I about? Uh, I made the decision to go ahead and not pursue Joel Campbell. Now, that decision was a difficult one, but I decided it because, ultimately, Joel Campbell has been involved in my Everton career mode. I don't want to use him in another one. Uh, that was my basic thought behind it. Now, if I go ahead and use Bruno in this deal, where are you, Bruno? Bruno, you are my brilliant saviour. I can find you, goddamn sake. Where are you? There you are. And go ahead and straight with an 8 million bid. Now, the good thing about this is, technically, I would be making profits on the Santos. I would make a, a, what is it, 20 million profit, which would be awesome. But I can't really afford to just go ahead and splash another 30 million out because I did spend that 50 million that I got from him on Costa. Do I really need the Santos? I'd have Vieto, Costa, Romero, and the Santos, like four players that are first team quality or knocking on anyway. Um, again, I don't really need them. So let's go ahead and offer Rafinha a contract. Again, the squad run means that most will probably say no. Gabriel, they are demanding on 11 million. Arsenal, of course. Uh, Arsenal, uh, have they been playing Gabriel? Not really. Um, you would have probably preferred a bit more involvement in the Arsenal squad, but it is a very good squad, of course. Recently won the FA Cup, and uh, it's a very difficult squad to earn yourself into. Again, this left back with Yem Costa deal here. Uh, Kolasinic. I'm wondering, is this worth it now? Because although Jan Costa does want to stay, is Kolasinic, Kolasinac actually better than him? And would he better than uh, go one step above him in the side? Now, we're getting more emails. It's been a very long transfer window. Vieto, 16.5 million. Nah. You see, if I accepted that and brought in and brought him uh, Giovanni de Santos, I'd be fine. Let's go ahead and say 26.5 million and see what they said to that. So that's 10 million more. But he did finish first in assists last season, remember. Okay, Porto don't believe he's worth that much. What's going on here? Jared, no. See, so the Musashio deal with PK was a very good one, um, which is a real shame. Camacho, they want 17 million for, and Danilo's accepted his contract. So. That's 10 million, over 10 million more than what I would have paid originally. So, 29 million, flat out, 29 million. See what they say to that. They won't accept it. I'm pretty much certain they won't. But two players have accepted their contracts. Now, Camacho, they're up to 17 million, and they. I can't believe they actually projected 16.5 and they're asking for 17. That's just more stingy than I am, for God's sake. But then again, I was very stingy in the first place to put 
Um, okay, so we've got two players accepted here. Now, Danilo is one that I'm pretty much certain I'm going to accept. Let's bring him in. Danilo is our first signing. Victor Ruiz, do I need him? Do I want to bring in Victor Ruiz or do I want to wait to see whether I can pull off this PK deal? Yeah. Victor Ruiz is Spanish, isn't he? I'm pretty sure he's, yeah. Okay, I'm going to stall him. I'm just for now, I'm going to stall him. Uh, but new signing arriving. We add Danilo to the squad, which is a really, really nice signing, Danilo. I just, it's, I think it's a real shame that uh, that Thingy Bobby's gone. I think he was a real core cool player in this side and can't do anything about it. He's been forced to leave. But I think that's a real shame. Um, and it's a true shame that we're not ever going to be able to bring him back to the squad. He's a very good player by the looks of it, German as well, which is nice. I like a German, I like a good old German in the squad. Um, Bojan's accepted, Rasmus Elm's accepted, and Inter have rejected for Gary Medell. They're not interested in the player that I included in the Gary Medell deal, which is of course Bruno. So if I just flat out say 9 million, what did I say to that? Now I'm really, I, I, I'm in a bit of a uh, contemplation mode here. Rasmus Elm isn't the best of signings, but he's a very good one. He's a cheap one, but is he really one that I really want to do? Um, I think I'm going to have to uh, uh, tweet out or something. I'm not really sure. What do I do with these three players? Now, Bojan's 18 million. You see, Bojan's would be a Bojan would be a great signing, but 18 million? Do I really want to sign for that much? Whilst Giovanni de Santos, if I go ahead and search him up, de Santos can actually play as a camp. In real life, he plays as a camp. He doesn't score anywhere near as many goals and he plays as a cam. So, do I actually use him as a cam? That's, that's the interesting question. Has he got the good best stats for a cam? Now let's have a look. Technical stats, ball control, brilliant. Dribbling, brilliant. Passing, how's that? Now his long shots are good, which is good for a midfielder. Crossing isn't amazing, that's not what he needed in cam. Finishing is excellent. Short passing isn't the best. How about long passing? Where's long passing? Where's long passing? Well, passing overall is only 71. So, again, is that really a Cam's attribute? But, technical ability, 82. 